Hello and welcome back once again to Product Placement. So today's video, I believe I saw a commercial for these a while back and completely forgot about them because I, I saw it, I was like, oh, I'll have to add that to the list of things to try and then it just slipped my mind and I completely forgot about it. But then as I was at the store today and I saw the Mountain Dew green label and I was like, hey, I gotta grab that and then I noticed these two cans next to it and I was like, oh, okay, let me try these two. So I ended up getting three cans. Um, I am a little confused looking at these labels because I was pretty sure these were developed by Coke, but according to the can, they're made by Pepsi. So I'll have to go back and double check that. Actually, now that I think about it, they may have been Pepsi products. But these are the two new 1893 flavors. If you remember, I did the 1893 um, regular cola flavor, I guess it was, and the ginger ale flavor. Well, we got two new flavors now, and the first one up is in the orange can. And you can't really see it that well, but this is uh, citrus cola, flavored with other natural flavors. Premium cola infused with grapefruit essence. Because you know how much I love grapefruit soda. Actually, I used to love grapefruit soda, but now it's like they put grapefruit in everything they say is citrus flavored. Instead of like making it orange or lemon lime or anything like that. And I think I'm just kind of overdone on the whole grapefruit essence thing. So again, these say they're made by Pepsi. I thought the other ones were made by Coke, but I could be wrong. I'll have to look that up because it says 1893 from the makers of Pepsi. So I'm assuming the other ones were Pepsi. Anyway, so the first one up is Citrus Cola. So let's crack this open and see what we think. And as I said in the previous video, this is a two-part episode because there's another one. But I'm not going to reveal what it is just yet. All right, so let's crack open the Citrus and take a smell and see what we think. Oh, God. <coughs> Woo. Okay, let's try this again. Ugh. That does not smell appetizing at all. Um, definitely grapefruit, but it's like really strong grapefruit. Uh, possibly pink grapefruit, even though it doesn't say pink grapefruit on the can. It's just really harsh smell. It's uh, kind of funky. Alright, let's hope it tastes better than it smells, which I think there was one before that smelled really bad and I ended up liking the flavor of it, but then it had like a really bad aftertaste. So let's see if that compares to this. This is 1893 Citrus Cola. Cheers. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. So it has like that odd 1893 flavor that I got from the cola version, the very first one, uh, which carried over into the ginger one, which actually made me kind of like the ginger, where I'm not really a big fan of ginger ale type sodas. Uh, so you get that flavor in this, but that grapefruit is funky. Um, at least most of the aftertaste is the whatever's in 1893 that makes it taste like that. But, yeah, that grapefruit. Uh, you guys are going to make me do it again, aren't you? Alright, one more. Cheers. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just that initial taste I can't do. Mmm. I don't know what kind of grapefruit that is, but it is bad. Oh my god. It's actually making my eyes water. That's how bad it is. Um, if you like nasty grapefruit, <laughs> check this one out. Uh, if you like the flavor of 1893, it's there. It's just hidden behind. Or actually, it's not really hidden behind. It's just you got to kick open the door of nasty grapefruit flavor before you get to it. Alright, so that's my review of Citrus Cola. So now let's move on to can number two and hope this one's better, which I have a feeling it's not going to be, and this might have been a waste of $3, because they're like a dollar 
25 each. It was actually four cans for $5. They were on sale, but I tried all the other flavors except for these three, so they ended up being like $1.25 each. Um, but the other one, also from 1893, from the makers of Pepsi Cola, is in the purple can. And this is, I don't know if you can read it, Black Current Cola. So, what does this say about Black Current Cola? Premium cola infused with a bold berry finish. Um, not sure if I like current. Uh, I'm not sure if I even had current before. Um, I've probably had it in some flavoring of some food somewhere. Uh, berry flavors, I do like berries. Uh, as long as it's not skunk berry or something like that, like whatever the hell is in that grapefruit one. Uh, this one should be pretty good. So let's crack it open and see what we think. All right. Here we go with the smell test. That actually has no scent at all. All I'm smelling is the metal from the can. Yeah, there's nothing there. Um, okay, uh, since there's no scent, I can't really get a reaction to that, so let's just take a swig and see what we think. Cheers. Wow, there's like nothing to this. Uh, when you first take the drink, there's a hint of some type of berry there. I'm not quite sure what it is. And then there's like the very faint hint of the 1893 flavor. And then everything just fades away. Like I got a little bit of an aftertaste of something berryish in my mouth, but I can't distinguish what type of berry it is. If that's what current tastes like, then cool. Current apparently tastes like nothing. <laughs> uh, let's try it again. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's just there's nothing really to it. It's got, it's not even really like a grape flavor. I was going to say it's a little grapey, but it's not. Um, yeah, I guess it's current flavor. I don't know. Uh, just out of curiosity, I have my racetrack cup here from the other day. And it's the closest thing to a clear cup I have. So let's uh, dump a little bit of this in there and see what it looks like. Oh wow, I thought it was actually going to be kind of purplish, but it's actually closer to cola brown, um, as you can see there. So, yeah. And now, just for your guys' entertainment pleasure, since there's nothing much to say about that one, let's also dump in a little bit of this guy. Because I haven't blended flavors in forever, right? So let's see what color this one comes out as. Um, hmm. okay. Looking at the little, like, bit on the edge of the can there, it looked kind of orange, but when I pour it out, that one's also kind of a brownish color. So it's just like normal cola. Okay, so I got a mix of the two, which you can see it did darken a bit, so i um, not sure what's going on there. Alright, just for you guys, mix the flavor. Uh, nasty citrus grapefruit flavor, and tasteless black currant cola. Uh, let's take a swig and see what we think of the mixed brand. Cheers. Oh. Well, the, the nothingness of the black currant actually cuts the harshness of the grapefruit quite a bit, but they're not a good blend of flavors. It's still kind of, eh. Uh, I still get a little bit of the bite of the grapefruit, but it's not nearly as harsh as it was. So apparently current is meant to take flavors out of things. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let's try it again. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, that's kind of tolerable for the grapefruit. The smell still hit me quite strong at the start there, so that almost made me back out of it. But I went through with it, and yeah, there's just not a whole lot of flavor. So based on that, what do I think? Well, I don't like this one. This one's okay. I'll probably finish it, but there's really not much flavor to it. So between the two, they kind of balance out, but now I'm starting to get a bit of a stomach ache. I don't know if it's just because I've drank three of these in a row with the green label and now these two or if it was the mixing of the flavors or what but yeah I really wish I was able to space out time between each of these videos a little bit like record one drink one day and then maybe one the next day or two the next day or whatever doing all three of these in succession uh, even the other day when I did the white label one I got a little sick after that so man you just start putting a little bit of space between videos um, but I only have a limited amount of time to sit down and actually record anything and get anything out. So, uh, yeah. So that is my review of the two newest additions to 1893. Um, honestly, the Black Current isn't much off from the original 1893. The uh, Black Can, the cola flavor, uh, it just has a little bit of a, somewhat of a berry taste to it, but not really distinguishable. And it says bold, and it's not bold at all. That's the odd thing. It says with a bold berry finish, and it's just, no, there's nothing there. Um, grapefruit, um, horrible. So, and honestly, this one says grapefruit essence, which makes me think that one would be the one that's lighter on flavor, where bold makes me think it would be heavier on flavor, and it's like the exact opposite. Uh, mixing them, like I said... It balances out, but it's still kind of an off flavor. So that's my review of those. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. The links are down there in the description. Click the bell up here in the corner. Make sure you're getting notifications every time I post new content. And until next time, cheers. That didn't work at all. <laughs> all right, cheers.